smokinghotcigarchick.com. I'm here at IBCPR right now with Vinny Cigars. This is the man himself, Ernesto Padilla. How are you? Well, it's always a fun to see you. Thank Likewise. you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. So, what exciting things do we have to see from you today in the show? Well, we're uh, introducing a new line, our first box press called the Artemis. And here it is right here. All Nicaragua made at the Raices Cubanas factory. A couple of different farms that we haven't used from there in the past. I don't know if we have time to get into it there, but that's some of the things we're doing. And as you can see, we also changed the packaging on uh, a lot of our cigars. So everything's going to have a more consistent look there with the lion that we originally used on the Dominic. That's the new Miami. This is the new 32. And we've also introduced a cigar about two months ago that we can't seem to keep in stock. This is about four fifty a cigar, depending where you're at, New York State, thirty dollars. But um, the La Terraza, which comes in the Bono Maduro wrapper, that's that's done really great for a six by six robusto torpedo, all the good size. And then we got one more over here. It's kind of a special one. This is the uh, Studio Tobacco Limited Edition with Padilla that we did with them. It's uh, the same size as their Series V Figurado, Oliva has, with some different tobaccos, some limited bales that they had they used in this project. So we're only doing a thousand of them. It's going to retail for about 14 a stick. I know a little bit more expensive for these times, but worth the smoke. And then we're doing one cigar that I'm really happy about, which we don't have the bands here, but it'll have the same band as the original release, which is the original Miami 811, and it's going to be made at the Elton Town Blended it with Willie Herrera, who's now with our friend Jonathan Drew over there. So, we've got some good, interesting stuff coming out. All right, I've got a question for you. All right. On a perfect day, you're smoking and drinking. What are you smoking? What are you drinking? Uh, I really like the 1932 a lot. Yeah, 1932. Um, not for my brands. I like uh, Madroni Rosario, Liga Privada, you know, some other brands out there, some good cigars out there. Uh, drinking, uh, probably Highland Park, 18, or Scotch, you know, stuff like that. Or I really, uh, some German beers I discovered though. We, what, what's, what's, I'm not familiar with beers, but I had this Wiener, 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 whatever, but I don't know what it is. I, take pictures of the bottle and try to remember it, but there's this uh, beer bar garden, German beer garden in Miami off 79th uh, Avenue there that's very nice that I go to. We smoke outside and there's a great beer selection, so, you know, that's pretty much uh, what I'm doing, you know, on the boat. I think I'm the only guy in Miami that drinks Guinness, you know, it's kind of a heavy beer from Miami, but I enjoy it. What about you? Perfect day with you. Besides Guinness. For me, it's more kind of considering as a drink. It depends on my mood. But probably either if I'm doing a cocktail in Beijing, if I'm doing a scotch, probably a Yamazaki 18 or a Tells for 175. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. And if a beer, honestly, one of my favorite German beers is called Post Red Third. It's like as black as it get is, but it's not like a heavy cakey. It's like it's still complex, but it's kind of like crispy texture. It's, one of my favorite it's called beers. what? Uh, Kohlstritzer. Kohlstritzer. I'm going to check that out. Yeah, it's like, it looks like a Guinness in the glass, but it's not like that kind of very smart. Oh, I like the dark. Yeah, I did too. I, I didn't, you know, until I drank my first drink beer, I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. wow. so. uh, last question I have for you too is for, um, it's a lot of consumers who are, you know, they've been smoking cigars for a while, but now they're kind of really getting into it, learning the brands. What's something that you should want them to know as an introduction to you, your company, your cigars? What experience do you want them to get from you? Cats, for question. I don't have any cigars right now that have a Connecticut wrapper, and a lot of people want to uh, give a beginning smoker a Connecticut wrapper. It's the Wilder's, you know, wrapper, and it depends on the filler. It could be full and be deceiving. But, um, you know, our new La Terraza, it's a really nice, accessible cigar at the right price point, four to four fifty. But don't be afraid because the cigar is, is uh, might be fuller in Nicaragua to experiment and try that out, especially after a bigger dinner. Uh, you know, go step by step and, and try it out. I think it's worth it, like a, like a heavier scotch. I mean, when you first drink whiskey, maybe at first you're like, uh, you know, or stuff like Lafroy, it's real peaty and things like that. And after a while, you get into it and you're like, start discovering, you know, and enjoying it and pairing it. I think it's the same the same thing. It's like, go go beyond the camera, go beyond the Connecticut experiment. I really enjoyed Nicaragua. I think it's making the best tobacco in the world right now. 
Um, primarily, that's what we have is Nicaraguan tobaccos. But we've got some blends, and there's some blends out there using uh, Ecuadorian Habano with some uh, Nicaragua, which is a nice medium body. So I'd say right now, if you're smoking cigars, anything that's an old, I don't talk bad about any other brands, but there's a lot of boutique brands that are worth exploring and figuring out, and I'm sure on your site you can see quite a few of them. So I would just say have a good time because some of the best cigars in the world are being rolled right now. Thank you so much. Thank appreciate you. It. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'll be speaking with you soon.